course, my life level is 7 now, so that could have something to do with it, I don't know. Alright, now that we're all battered and bruised here, uh, I'm tempted to go and, like, heal up again at the palace entrance, but I probably won't. I don't know. It feels too noobish to do that, like, two times in a row here, so... Let's just move on. Keep on keeping on. Because, you know, it is... I don't know. It's going to be more challenging to go with this way when we're not, like, even, like, half full on anything here. And I like challenging ways. Because, you know, they call sh shortcuts are supposed to be challenging. If it was easy, it would just be called the way. That's not how that quote goes at all, I know, but you get the reference, I'm sure. If you've seen that, but... Alright, oh man. <laughs> Didn't expect that guy to come out through that one block-wide hole that I made for him. Oh well. Let's see if I can kill him. Can I get him just right here? Yeah, there you go. We'll just leave that red iron knuckle over there to skulk while we kill this guy. Shouldn't take too long with our attack level 5. Alright, here. There we go, man. We kill those guys in three hits now. I hardly believe that. Uh, let's do this. And... There we go. Alright, oh man, I got I still got the jump spell on. Why is it that I always end up fighting one of these guys when I have the jump spell on? That's so weird. Oh well. It's pretty easy to dodge their projectiles, at least, while you have the jump spell on, because you jump so monumentally high. Alright, oh dude, I didn't expect it to come back a second time. That's why I never expect out of those things. Oh well. Yeah, thankfully this room just has these Doom Knocker guys instead of the floating Aslan heads. So that's something to be thankful for. Because I honestly think it's a better idea to have those guys instead of the Aslan heads. Alright, yeah, we just got experience over here now. Oh, sweet. The eShop 100 experience, though, so there's nothing to sneeze at. Pick it up while you can. Pick it up while you still need it before you reach the 9,000 threshold. Mm, I'm still at 3,000, though. Oh, is my next level going to be magic? I, f I have a feeling that... No, it's probably going to be attack. Just looking at my levels now. I've got 5, 6, 7. And it wouldn't make sense for them to put, like, two of your levels at 7 and then leave one at 5. So it's probably going to be attack next. Alright, I don't think I need... There's, like, one path here, and I can never remember which one it is. Where you have to, like, at the bottom of one elevator, where you head right, and you never need to. And I always end up taking it, and I always feel stupid for doing it, too. <clears throat> what the hell, I guess I'll just take my chances here, though. God, I hate these rooms. <laughs> these are just the worst rooms, because I'm always scared that I'm just gonna fall into a pit, just like that! No! <laughs> I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have just charged headlong there. I knew that those Medusa head things were coming. You know what I normally do in this room, actually, is I actually normally cast the jump spell, so let's do that. Because then you can jump really high over these pits, and it's not as much of a big deal. Because you can actually downward thrust the things before they knock you back into the pit. Alright, here's our key, so I guess we did need to head this way. We'll go figure. Alrighty. Oh, man, what time is it here? It's 4.05 a.m. Holy cripes. 4 or 5 a.m. on December 30th, I believe. I believe that's what it is. I'm not sure what my timer is up to even here. This might be like my fourth or fifth video. I don't even know. <laughs> I've certainly been doing sucky enough for it to be my fifth video here. Dude, stop running to these guys. They're draining your experience away. And you don't want that happening now. Do I have the reflect spell on? I do. Okay. If you don't have the Reflect Spell on when you try to block those things, it'll just absorb the thing. You won't actually take damage if you try to block them. It'll just absorb their hit. So, there's really no consequence. Alright, oh yeah, I remember this room. Oh, you gotta be kind of careful with your jumps here, I guess. Just watch out for those spiders. Because they too can screw you if they knock you back far enough. Plus, you're on those, like, crumbling platforms. The crackle blocks of Zelda 2. Alright, get your ass down here, you blue skeletons. You blue Stalfos. Man. Those Staldras in Skyward Sword are so scary. I don't know what it is. The first time I fought one of those, it was just like, damn, man. And I couldn't get it. It took me like 10 minutes to beat that thing, too. <laughs> Sorry for anyone who wants, who doesn't want spoilers in Skyward Sword. 
Because I know I didn't. Not even, like, little things like that, but... I, I don't know, I don't think I spoiled too much by saying what I did there. I'm not actually too far in Skyward Sword right now. Uh, I just got into, like, the second area, so... Whatever. Oh man, I need two more experience points, then I'll have some pretty elite experience now, won't I? Uh, what's the boss of this place again? Oh yeah, I remember. It's pretty much the easiest boss in, like, the history of anything. <laughs> uh, you do need some magic in order to take him on, though, so... Thankfully, I got that red magic jar just there. And, uh... Yeah. Alright, so what I like to cast here is I like to cast Shield... And, uh, Jump... And Reflect. You only need jump for like the very beginning here, because you want to like jump over that guy, just make sure he doesn't hit you. And then basically just sit in a corner like this, and this is all you have to do to beat him. <laughs> I'm not sure what this guy's called. He's probably just called something stupid like Big Wiz Robe. Who knows? Or maybe he's called something cool like Calcoon. Who knows? I'm sure I'll look it up. I'm sure one of those annoying, really obnoxious annotations has come up on the screen has come up on the screen already to tell you what this guy's name is. Uh, I'll probably make a green text just to contrast with the background. Of course, that'll remind me of Barney the Dinosaur with the purple on green. Or the green on purple, I mean. Oh, well. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so there's that boss for you. Like I said, it's pretty much the easiest thing ever because all you gotta do is duck there. As you can see, he still can get close enough to you to hit you because he did that. He did hit me once there. But it doesn't happen too often, so you're normally pretty fine. And the reason I cast jump in that fight, by the way, is because some like sometimes when you walk in, he appears like right on top of you, and you'll have just enough reaction time in order to jump out of his way. Right? Yeah. Here's what our uh, little Pegasus mood to do, by the way, allows to walk on certain sections of water, not all sections of water, mind you. So you still got to be kind of careful. You want to head up here, by the way. Up and to the right, and you should come across a secret area in the water, which is really weird, because normally water kills you in this game. But now you can just hop through it like it's nobody's business. Guess it's pretty shallow water, I don't know. But it's like in the middle of an ocean, so... Oceans. 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 Oceans as far as the eye can see. My country lay within a vast desert. Alright, and this is palace number 5 here, but I think I'm going to call it a night. Just because, I don't know, man. I've been awake for too long, you know. By the way, if you want a reference, this is where palace number 5 is. It's just straight across from this path leading out of, uh... What was this place called? Is it called Ruto? Uh, it's probably sorry now that I think about it. Uh, Naburu, that's right. And this is the lady who won't help me, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> So I think I'm just going to rest up here. I'll find a house to rest in. Sure, why not this one? And uh, what do you say, by the way? Let's see. With boots, I could walk on the water. Yeah, I already told them, but I actually just showed them that. <laughs> That's how we got our heart container. We've only got one more heart container and one more magic container. And I'm pretty sure I know where they both are. The magic container is actually really easy. I think it's impossible to miss if you know what you're doing. Even if you don't know what you're doing, it's pretty hard to miss. Alright, I'm just walking through town now, being a dumbass. There's something I want to show in this town. I think it's in this house. Oh uh, yeah, we got this bat here, and if you talk to him enough, I actually saw this in Cow's Crazy's LP, which is pretty much... It might be finished by the time this goes up. Yeah, he'll he'll just, like, give you a bunch of dots here, five dots in a row, and he'll do this, like, four times in a row, maybe just three times in a row. But if you talk to him enough, then eventually... Alright, I'm gonna muster the best bat voice I can. Here we go. <gasps> Alright, that wasn't actually me. That was my good friend, Buddy the Bat, doing a little voice acting there. And yeah, he gives you a clue as to how to find that heart container, which I already just showed you. So anyways, next time I guess we'll just get a move on with palace number 5, because we really can't do much else around here. So, thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you! Oh man, I almost made it out of that recording session without yawning. Damn. Oh well, thank you and good night.